When I'm calling you Ah, this is the life. Completely alone. Just what I need. What could be better? You, to me, you, to me then. No, I must be imagining things. Ah, yes. The serenity, the peace, the quiet. Ah! Did you hear something, Paul? Probably the mating call of a moose. The forest's full of them. And wolves. It could have even been a grizzly. Oh dear, oh dear. Bear? Of course, bear. Grizzlies don't wear clothes, do they? Oh, hello. What's this? Looks like a campsite. Who'd be camping way out here? I would, you idiots. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. You better have a look under this hat. You do it. It might not be a pretty sight. Me? Why me? Well, you're used to that sort of thing. You have to look at yourself in the mirror every morning. Now get on with it. Give me that hat. And no slacking. Hello. What are you doing here? Tell me it's not true. It's not true. Are you responsible for this? No, not us. We wouldn't pitch a tent under the trees, would we, Barry? No, something could fall on it. Well, what are you doing here? I'm working for Dan. Oh, Dan the Van? Well, Dan of the Canada is now known. This is his forest. Yeah, he's got into lumber. He's branching out. Got into lumber, has he? Well, that makes three of you. Just look at the state of my tent. It's not that bad. <laughs> Just need straightening out, that's all. Ooh. Now look what you've done. Well, am I going to sleep tonight? I tell you what. We feel partly responsible for this. So why don't you come and stay with us? We've got a lovely little cabin in the woods. Oh, no, no, thank you. I'm quite happy here. Da, 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 da. I wouldn't dream of it. It's no trouble. Ah, for you two, maybe. Ah, Paul's right. It's dangerous in this forest at night. It's full of mooses and Wolverhamptons. Wolves? I'll take my chances with the mooses, thank you. Da, 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 da. We wouldn't hear of it. You come with us. That is right. It's too dangerous to be on your own out in here at night. You ask little Fred Ridinghood. Yes, you could get grabbed by the Grizzlies or the Wolverhamptons. Wolves? All right, all right. I get the message. Now, where's this cabin of yours, then? It's just down there in the woods. And I tell you what, we'll cook you a nice plate of critter stew, won't you, Barry? Critter stew? Oh, yes, I cook a lovely... Cr Hang on, me? Why me? It's your turn to cook. There's no way to talk in front of our dinner guests, Barry. Besides, you're always saying that you cook the best critter stew in the business. Do I? Mm. Oh, well, I better pop down the shop and get some fresh crits then. Uh, tell you what, you go on ahead, I'll pack a few things together and follow later. Right, we'll mark a trail on the trees with our axes. Come on, Barry. Right. See ya. Pack a few things together and follow on later. They've got to be joking. I'm going. Mark that one, Barry. Oh, oh. Too hard. Where's the other one? If you mean Paul, he's outside with the dog sled team. He's giving them the dinner. Oh, huskies? No, cornflakes. Talking of food, is that the critter stew I can smell? Certainly is. Made with my own fair hands. Well, dark spoon and silver pan. Oh, it smells very nice. Could I have some? I'm starving. Certainly. Help yourself. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Well, I must say you've got things looking very nice in here. Oh, hey. He must have been going at some speed when he hit that wall. <laughs> Pardon? Moosehead. Manners. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> I must say it smells very nice. What's in it? Oh, we can't tell you that. Ah, uh -huh. secret recipe, eh? No, all the labels came off the cans. Barry, keep your eye on him. If he starts to scratch his neck with his leg, that's the dog food. <laughs> dog food? Here. You can keep your critter stew. Just show me to my room. Oh, it's down there on the left. Right. No, on the left, right? On the left. Right. I must say, it's nice having company, Barry. 
Oh, you did warn him about the old bear trap the old trapper left, didn't you? Ah! Completely slipped my mind. Oh, you're back. Do you fancy some cocoa? No, thanks. I've got an early start in the morning. We never did ask what you were doing way out here. No, well, actually, I'm the advance party for the famous naturalist, Dr. Franz Winkelbaum. He's studying the legendary Bigfoot. The rest of his team will be arriving as soon as I can find a place for them to stay. Oh, it's a pity we didn't have another cabin. Yes. A place like this would be ideal. Mm. Who's the Bigfoot? Don't tell me you've never heard of the legendary Big Bad Bigfoot. Half man, half beast. They do say he's the North American relative of the Yeti. The Yeti? The abominable snowman. Oh, I've heard of that. Pyrenees. No, Himalayas. No, I mean he's got a Pyrenees. They're all hairy. There's none of them round here. That's what the others thought. Others? It happened a few years ago. Here in this forest. Two half-witted brothers, just like, built themselves a cabin in a secluded spot, just like this. But they made one big mistake. What? They built their cabin right where a huge seven-foot half-man, half-monster with massive pointy teeth and claws had made his home. Ah! And those brothers were never seen again. Have you heard enough? Well, of course. Most people reckon only an idiot would believe a story like that. I believe it. Yeah, but it could just be an old wives' tale. But I thought it best to let you know anyway. Thank you very much. Oh, that reminds me. Would it be OK to use your radio to contact Bigfoot Base? I need to let them know where I am. Oh, certainly. Yes, this certainly is a very nice cabin. Ha! <laughs> Bigfoot. There's no such thing. You're not worried, are you, Barry? Of course not. Of course not. It takes more than a silly old story about a man that's half monster, half beast, with long pointy teeth and sharp claws to frighten Barry Chuckle. What was that? The kettle boiling. Oh, of course it was silly me. Silly you. Oh, oh, well, I think I'll turn in. We've got an early start in the morning. Good night, uh, Barry. What about your cocoa? Oh, you can finish it. Good night. I think I'll go to bed as well. Good night. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. It's not the bed bugs I'm worried about. Where are you going? To bed. Your room is over here. With all this talk of monsters and things, I thought you'd feel better if I was in with you. Well, I wouldn't. You sleep in your own bed. Can you give me a hand to lift it across? Your own bed stays in your own room, and so do you. You're not scared, are you? Me? No. Good. See you in the morning. Not scared. Terrified. That's right, Dr Winklebaum. I've found the ideal place for our expedition to set up headquarters. It's a lovely little log cabin in the middle of nowhere. No, it's not empty at the moment. But I have a feeling it will be before long. <laughs> ah! Ah! What's the matter? There was something horrible in the room. There still is. Pardon? What did it look like? He was about seven foot tall with a big head. Well, which way did it go? Out there. Well, whatever it was, it's gone now. Was it the Bigfoot? No. Thank goodness for that. The Bigfoot's much bigger and more vicious than that thing you described. Mm. I think you'd best go back to bed and lock your door. I think we'd best go home. Do you? Hmm. Well, I'm off to bed. Good night. <sighs> what was all that noise? We've had a visit from Bigfoot. Didn't you see him? No, I was fast asleep. Which is where you should be. I told you we've got a very long day tomorrow. Besides, there's no such thing. Yeah, but what about this? Barry, trust me. Ooh. Boo! Ah! <laughs> Good night. Wakey, wakey! Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> what are you doing? I told you, we've got a lot on today. We're going to pop down the river and catch some breakfast. What about Bigfoot? No, I think we'll settle for kippers. No, I mean, what if he tries to get you? Look, are you coming fishing or not? Not. Right, I'll go by myself. You can do the washing up, make some tea and lay the table for breakfast. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's me, fooled you. <laughs> Morning. Just gonna have a quick wash. Oh, yeah? What's that? My toilet bag. Morning. Good morning. No more visits from Bigfoot, then? No, and I don't want any, thank you very much. What's that? Toilet bag. Fancy. Paul reckons I must have imagined it. Probably. But if you're not imagining it, I'd be careful. Nasty things are Bigfoots. I'll have a cup if you're making it. Where is the other one, by the way? He's down by the river catching kippers for breakfast. I hope he doesn't run into old Bigfoot down there. They say an angry Bigfoot is not a pretty sight. Do you know what the local Indian tribes call them? Dennis? No, Sasquatch. Bless you. the dishes. <laughs> Paul likes a snack in bed. Where did he say he's gone? The river. I think I'll take a stroll down there and see if he's caught anything. Oh, if you see him, will you tell him to hurry back with the breakfast? Right. Thanks. Ah! ah! The Bigfoot! Help! Watch up! I've just seen Bigfoot again. You have it. I have. You have. I have. Have you? Yes, and he's seven feet tall. And he's got big pointed teeth and claws. Yes. Leave this to me. Look out, Bigfoot. I'm coming in. He's quite brave when he doesn't know what he's getting into. Ah, there you are. He's no good hiding under that bed. Got you. Right. Come on. Come on. Oh, take that. And that. Oh, hey, steady. Take that. And that. Right. Right, Bigfoot. No. Oh, he ran into the trees. Over here. <laughs> That'll teach him to mess with me. Right, you, follow me. We've got work to do. Right, Manny, this is a tree counting exercise. We've got to count all the trees in the forest. That way we'll know how many we've got to cut down. I'll start at this end and you start at that end. And we'll meet in the middle, OK? Barry. Right. Are you still worried about that Bigfoot? I told you I frightened him off. Now, what is it we've got to do? Go home. Da, 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 da. Count the trees. Right, off we go. One. Whew. Time for a rest, I think. There's a good Bigfoot. Nice Bigfoot. 78 trees. 79 trees. One Barry chuckle. Now look what you've made me do. You've made me lose my count. There's a Bigfoot. He's over there. Bigfoot? Are you still worried about that? In a word, yes. I'll tell you what, I'll finish off counting the trees. You go back to the cabin and chop some wood for the fire. Oh, it's gonna be a cold night. Right. One tree. Two trees. Still there? Good. That's right. This place will be perfect. No, don't worry about them. I've told them the Bigfoot story. 
The little one's scared witless. And the big one hasn't got any wits to scare. You mark my words. They'll soon be out of here. It's him. I heard that. You're trying to scare us off with this Bigfoot story. Why not? You broke my tent, so it was you in a Bigfoot costume all the time. No, that wasn't me. But I saw you. Not me. Really? I promise you. In that case, it must have been a real Bigfoot. Sightings of old Bigfoot? No. Even if there was, you'd be able to protect me, wouldn't you? You didn't really believe all that, did you? I saw it. It was me in a costume. I was Bigfoot. I fooled you. Why did you do that then? For a joke. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't believe you. It looked too real. Look, I'll prove it. He's heavier than I remember. Ah! Ah! The Bigfoot! No. Keep looking. We must have lost him then. What? Have you seen him? No. What did you tap me for then? I didn't. What have you tapped me for? I didn't. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. You know what this means, don't you? Yes. Ah! It's only me. Look. Oh. It's me. What did you do that for? I knew it was you all the time. No, you didn't. Did too. Did not. Did too. As soon as I heard that mating call of yours. Mating call? I never made a mating call. All right. Why don't we agree to put all this nonsense behind us? Quite right, Barry. I mean, it's silly to old grudges, isn't it? Yes, I suppose so. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's just one problem. What? If I've agreed to put this nonsense behind us... Yes. And you've agreed to put this nonsense behind us... Yes. Then who's that? The Bigfoot! Ah!